So in problem number 38 of section 2.8, we're asked to locate the inflection points of the graph of f of x equals tangent of x. Now to find the inflection points, uh, we need to compute the second derivative. So we see that the derivative of tangent, of course, is um, secant squared of x, which then means that the second derivative is 2 secant x, and applying the chain rule, uh, we get secant x times tangent of x. But of course, tangent of x is sine over cosine, so you can write this as 2 secant squared of x uh, times sine of x uh, all over cosine of x. But 1 over cosine is just equal to uh, secant, so we'll write this, rewrite this one more time as 2 times secant cubed of x uh, times sine of x. And now we want to look at the points where this is um, either undefined or equal to zero. And we see that um, secant is, and also note that secant is positive, um, excuse me, or excuse me, um, secant does not equal uh, zero at any point since it's one over cosine of x. The fraction cannot attain zero at any point. So we need to look at the points where um, this is equal to zero. So that's equal to zero. Well, that means that um, since secant cubed of x is never equal to zero, that must mean that sine of x is equal to zero, which means uh, that uh, x is equal to, uh, equal to some multiple um, of pi. So we need to look at uh, where, of course, k is an integer. So we need to look at the points um, k pi, where k is an integer, and see if the sign of the second derivative goes from negative to positive or positive to negative, or um, if the sign doesn't change at all, it's, then it's not an inflection point. So let's notice that first that, um, we'll look at an example, uh, just a typical interval, we'll say 0 pi over 2, 2 minus pi over 2. And we'll notice that um, secant is defined everywhere on, uh, on these intervals uh, where we have some odd multiple of pi over 2 to the next odd multiple of pi over 2. And secant is defined everywhere in there, and since, um, and then also secant doesn't change sign there. So really we only need to look at, um, look at values of x for which sine of x changes sign. Uh, well, we know that sine of x is 0 at these points, and we know that um, the graph of sine coming through here uh, does you know, go from negative to positive. So, you know, at the points, uh, at the integer multiples of pi, we see that the sine, sine of x does change sine, and therefore um, all the points x equals, uh, all the points that are integer multiples of pi um, are indeed inflection points.